In this video we will take a closer look at the new Wii model 705. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Henk and we introduced a few new models again in 2017. I got I already did uh, introduce a few on video like the 701 and the 702 and the 703, the 704, the 705, the 707 and I think another one I received a couple of weeks ago but I didn't have time to do first impressions video and I got a request of a steady viewer, thanks for the request by the way, to do a video on the 705 because the viewer in, uh, was doubting between the 705 and another model. So today this video, my first impressions on the 705. I have to say it is a gorgeous piece. Very nice sample of the capabilities of WeKnife company as manufacturer of high-end production knives with high quality materials, great fit and finish great materials. Let me start with the package in which the knife comes and of course we all know the box from the Wii Knives sturdy cardboard box with a label with the model number this is the 705B green handle hand wrapped satin blade Bowler M390. Then in the cardboard box there is the pouch. Very nice teddy liner with the business card, the cleaning cloth, the silica gel and the little tool. Oh, this is the plastic bag you set in. And then the uh, little tool for the proprietary hardware. Uh, I want to discuss the proprietary hardware. Some people dislike proprietary hardware or maybe this the, 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 the proprietary hardware of the Wii knives in special and some people like it. Some people dislike it in general when a knife manufacturer uses proprietary hardware but most of the time uh, the thought behind disliking proprietary hardware is you don't the, the manufacturer doesn't provide the tool for the proprietary hardware or you have to buy it. WeKnife provides the, uh, the tool for the proprietary hardware so in fact there is not a real problem in uh, making these knives with proprietary hardware. And when you have, are an experienced, uh, experienced in disassembling a knife, then this can be done with the tool very well. You just remove the ring of the, uh, of the tool and then stick a small thin screwdriver or drill bit or whatever fits in that little hole and then uh, maybe a piece of plastic foil on the screws very thin plastic foil and then you put in the tool that way you don't uh, damage the, the the anodizing of the tit titanium hardware and then gently unscrew it it's, it's really not hard I've done it a few times and it's really not hard at all. 
Anyway, complete package. Then this one is also available in a few color variations. Let me put in a slideshow of the different colors available right now. I hope you liked the slideshow. And then the data of the knife, let me put it in right now. Uh, the overall length of the knife is 8.3 inch or 21.1 uh, centimeter. The blade length is 3.6 inch or 9.2 centimeter. The thickness of the blade is 0.16 inch or 4 millimeter. Uh, steel M390 from Bowler, the best steel available right now. And the hardness, 59 to 61 Rockness, Rockwell hardness. Um, the handle length is 4.7 inch or 11.9 centimeter. The overall thickness of the handle or frame is 0.53 inch or 13.5 millimeter and the handle material as well as the clip as well as the backspacer as well as the hardware is all 6 ALV for uh, 6 AL4V titanium and then the washers are ceramic ball bearings the weight is 120 gram or 4.2 ounce and of course it's a frame lock and this is an in-house design so, all data mentioned. Then the knife. Again, we show their capabilities. Of course, I am a little bit biased because I am a fanboy from the start of Wii Knife Company. And since, I think, two months I do some representative work for the company. So call me biased. I, th I, I, I might be, but I try to be as objective as possible. Very nice diagonal grinding lines from the CNC. Nice groove with some holes, details. The Wii logo. Everything is chamfered, round off, broken. Very nice. It's a backspacer design with a lanyard attachment. And then the frame lock side, very nice clip again, and the grinding lines from the titanium frame are continued on the clip, very nice job, and then uh, under, beneath the clip there is, it is kept flat, so it's it's easier to slide in and out the pocket and doesn't wear your pocket that fast and the clip is very functional. Of course a steel insert, that's the only steel they use except for the blade of course and all the rest of the hardware is titanium. Very nice. It's a flipper, lightning switch. push button detent is moderate if you want you can fail it but it's hard to let it fail as you can see I really have to use no pressure at all to let it fail but just regular pressure 
normal pressure and it flies open. Blade is very well centered. No blade play. And then the blade has a very nice groove with a pattern. Very nice, precise milling work. Nice swatch. The spine is completely round off. And a very precise, well done jimping, which provides hardly no traction. So the jimping is more a design thing than functional. As you can see, it's even with the frame, very well done. No markings on the blade, a lot of people like that. As you can see, no markings on either side. And then The blade steel is mentioned right here. I hope you can see it. Just where it touches the frame. Right here. I hope it shows on camera. I can hardly see it because of the angle I'm working at right now. The flipper tab provides some jumping also, and that is that gives traction, but it's not aggressive, so you can play all night with this knife without getting a sore finger. It's not sharp. I think you might use the groove, yes. You can use the groove to open the knife slowly, but I don't. I doubt if that's practical. I think this is a way better use. The ergos on this knife I feel something here. Ergos are good, but I feel the corner of the pocket clip I notice in my hand. I don't think this will create a hot spot, but no, it's this corner I feel. This corner I feel in my hand. I don't know if this will create a hot spot, but I feel it. When I do a really uh, when I do an actual review later on of this knife after I use it for a while. I maybe can tell if this will cause a problem or not. And then this nice big choil provides a lot of control for choking up, a lot of control for detailed work. This is very useful for such a big knife. Then the draw cut grip. I don't like the draw cut grip of this knife. I feel uh, this portion in my hand, so for draw cut grip I don't recommend it. And then reverse grip, that's uh, totally fine. Yes, that's completely suitable. And normal grip, it fits in my hand very well. So the ergos overall are very good, except for the draw cut grip. Fit to finish, very high standard of fit to finish as we are used from we. No seams, no gaps, uh, it all fits well together. Perfect job, yeah, great knife. Stop in, I hope it shows up. 
and then the this portion is very nicely round off to distribute forces locks up solidly it's about I think it's about 15 to 20 percent yeah 20 percent very solid lockup and it is very smooth on those ceramic bearings very nice blade shape very useful I like it it kind of reminds me of the 612 I think the battle the battleship kind of not the blade itself but more the frame and the choil uh, I have to look up the model the right model number I will put it in frame when I found it I think it reminds me of that so the Wii 705 later on I will do a thorough review with actual use of the knife but for now this is this are my these are my first impressions and I'm very positive and to just about this new model of Wii knife company thanks for watching don't forget to like the video don't forget to share the video that's it for now bye bye